Hello friends, today we are going to see the trick to solve card based probability sums. We are going to see both basic as well as advanced level sums. Okay, before going to the sums, let us see the concept of cards and then we will move to the sum. The thing you should know is in a pack of cards, you have total 52 cards. Okay, this 52 cards is divided into red and black cards. Okay, since we have divided into two, so total number of cards with red will be 26 and with black will be 26. Okay, now in red also it is classified into heart. You can see it is like this. I am not good at drawing. Diamond. It will be somewhat like this. Okay, since you have divided into two, so 26 divided by two. So for heart it will be 13 cards and for diamond also it will be 13 cards. Okay, this black is also divided into two categories that is spade and club. Spade will be like this and club will be like this, somewhat like leaf. Okay, in this also you will have 13 cards and in this also you will have 13 cards. And in this 13 cards you will have two things, number cards, this is basically 2 to 10. Note one thing here, I have not included one. One is a ace here. Okay. This 13 card is divided into number card as well as honor cards. Okay. In honor card, you will see face card as well as ace. Note one thing, ace is not included in face card. Okay. Ace is basically number one. Okay. But it is not included in number card. Okay. Face card will be king queen and jack so basically you can see in 13 card you will have three face card you will have one ace card which will make honor card and in all you will have a 13 card in which 2 to 10 basically 9 cards will be number cards and 4 cards will be honor card okay this will be same for heart diamond spade and club okay so now if someone asked you how many total kings are there so what will be your answer your answer will be total four kings are there which one for red you will have two king and for black you will have two kings okay similarly it will be for queen it will be for jack and for ace you will say you will have a four ace cards okay now if you know this classification you can solve any card so now let's see first some this is of is objective question one card is drawn at random from the pack of well suffered card what is the probability that the card is either red card or a king? Okay, basically the question is asking what is the probability of red card or king? Okay, you can solve this sum with the help of addition theorem as well as your basic approach. Okay, so let's see the basic approach first. So since we want probability of red card first. Okay, so red card is total 26. Okay, so we can write it as 26 upon 52 right in terms of combination you can write it as 26 c1 we pick one card from 26 upon 52 c1 we pick one card from 52 cards okay this is basically favorable upon total okay now since we have or in center we will write plus right always you have to note one thing or will be plus and will be multiply okay now second thing we want is that probability of king now since here you can see we have included all 26 cards of king and you know in red you have two kings and in black you have two kings okay since you have already included two kings of red card so you are going to write only two why because you have already included two red card okay so we will write here 2 c1 upon 52 c1 so basically it will be 26 plus 2 28 and c1 is basically and this is what we have seen in earlier videos also okay upon 52 right so if you divide it you will get 4 7s are 28 and 13 4s are 52 right so the answer will be 7 by 30. this is what you have solved with the basic approach you can also use the addition theory also that is the addition theory says that probability of a union b is equals to probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of a intersection with b okay so since we have here a as red card and b as king card okay so first we want probability of a basically probability of red card so red card is basically 26 by 52 right probability of b will be basically probability of king here we are going to write all kings okay so we will write it as 4 by 52 minus probability of a intersection b basically this is saying 
it should be red as well as it should be king okay so we know that two kings are red color so we write it as 2 by 52 okay so if you add it you will get the same thing basically 28 by 52 so the answer will be 7 by 30 so you can clearly see if you know the basic approach you can solve this type of sum very easily now we are going to increase the level of question okay now let's see second sum this is also an is objective question from a pack of regular playing cards two cards are drawn at random what is the probability that the both card will be kings if first card is not replaced okay now here the question is that you have to pick two cards and what is the probability that both the cards will be king and the condition given here is that first card is not replaced this type of sum you can solve by it basic approach as well as combination approach okay let us first see by the basic approach what we want is we want that both cards should be king okay so let's say we have picked one card and that to be king okay so we will say 4 by 52 basically from four card we have drawn one card upon total number of cards now we will multiply because we have to pick two cards okay this is not like probability of king or king this is like probability of king and king okay that's why we are going to write multiply here okay now since we have already picked one king cards so the total number of king will be 3 and the total number of cards will be 51 right so we can write it as 3 upon 51 okay so if you solve it we will get 4 ones are 13 4 are 52 and we can also simplify this that is 3 ones are and 17 threes are 51 right so the answer will be 1 upon 17 into 13 basically 17 tens are 170 and 17 threes are 51 okay so it will be 2 to 1 right so the answer will be 1 upon 2 to 1 this a option will be the correct option this was the basic approach let us see by the combination approach here we have to pick two cards right and that to be that first card should not be replaced it is same like you have to pick two cards directly right anyway we are not going to replace it again so it is similar to picking two cards directly okay so you can write it as 4 c2 in terms of combination upon 52 c2 you will get the same thing right 4 into 3 upon 2 upon 52 into 51 upon 2 this 2 2 got cancelled and you have the same thing 12 upon 52 into 51 and if you simplify it you will get the same answer 2 2 1 so whenever you find this term if first card is not replaced you can directly use the combination formula of this 4c total number of cards that you have picked okay so here we have picked two cards that's why here we are writing 4c2 upon 52c2 okay now let's say this sum this is of me 16 three cards were drawn from a pack of 52 cards the probability that they are a king queen and a jack okay so if you read this question carefully the question is saying you have to find the probability that the three cards that you have drawn it should be king queen and a jack okay so basically you have to pick three cards right and they want that here it should be king queen or jack here also king queen or jack here also king queen or jack basically in all three cards it should be one of these face cards okay so for this type of sum also you can use your basic approach as well as combination approach okay so let's start with the basic approach first so in basic approach what you can do is you have three places right and you know in three places we can have a king queen or a jack okay so you can clearly say it is the question of arrangement okay so you can either get king here queen here and jack here or you can also get as jack here queen here okay yes so we want total number of arrangement first so you can see we have a three places and three things so we can write it as 3p3 and we know 3p3 is basically 3 factorial so the answer will be 3 into 2 is basically 6 so in six way you can arrange king queen jack into three places okay so now if you solve it by supposing king queen jack in these three places and we will just multiply the answer of this into this answer okay to get the final answer so we will get for king we can write it as 4 upon 52 for queen we can write it as 4 upon 51 why 51 because we are considering that one king card is already picked okay multiply by 4 upon 50 okay so you can see 4 upon 52 basically there are four ways to pick a king upon total number of cards multiply by 4 by 51 why because there are four ways to pick a queen but since we have already picked one card before that's why the total number of remaining card will be 51 okay multiply by 4 by 50 number of ways for jack is 4 but you have already picked two cards so you will remain with 50 only okay so now if you multiply it what you will get 4 ones are and 13 fours are 52 right let us multiply this denominator into calcium we will get 13 into 51 into 50 okay so basically 33150 so in numerator we have 16 upon 33 
one five zero and since we have to multiply six also right we have six arrangement we can arrange this king queen jack into six number of ways so we'll multiply it by six now let us check with the option here you can see we don't have 16 to 6 kind of thing in numerator so we have to simplify it so let's say okay this thing we can divide by three so three two zero three one zero three one zero zero three five zero fifteen zero okay this you can also divide by two two one zero two five zero ten one zero two five zero ten two two zero four one zero two five zero ten okay so the answer will be 16 upon 5 5 2 5 and you can see this is a a option okay now let us see how we can do this sum simply with the combination basically we want probability of king and queen and jack right so by combination what we can do we know we have four ways to pick a queen so we write 4c1 since we have and so we will multiply it for queen also we have four ways 4c1 for jack also we have four ways 4c1 okay and since we have picked three cards so we will write it as 52 c3 okay so if you multiply it we will get 4 into 4 into 4 upon 52 into 51 into 50 upon 3 factorial basically upon 6 so we will directly write into numerator we will get multiply by 6 so you can see you directly get this thing which you got in your basic step after doing arrangement and all so it's always better to solve this type of sum with the combination as you don't have to write more step here okay so the answer will be same 16 upon 5 5 2 5 if you simplify it okay now let's say this sum this is of cs 2011 a deck of five cards each carrying a distinct number from 1 to 5 is shuffled thoroughly two cards are then removed one at a time from the deck what is the probability that two cards are selected with the number of the first card being one higher than the number of the second card okay so basically you can see this is not our usual deck we have only five cards here basically one two three four five and the question is asked that you have to remove two cards and the condition is given that first card should have a number greater than the second one and that to be it should be higher by only one number okay if it was our usual deck then there we were knowing our total number of ways okay but here we don't know the total number of ways right so first we will get our sample space then we will find this ways okay we have to pick two cards from five cards right so for filling this place we will have five ways right since we have five cards so we can pick either of this okay and for second card since we have picked one card already so we will have only four ways okay so total number of ways will be 20 so total number of ways in sample space will be 20 ways now we want that in how much way we can pick two cards that to be first card should be one greater than another okay so you can see we can pick two one three two four three 5 4 right so there are total number of 4 ways so our probability will be favorable upon total so 4 ways upon 20 ways okay so 4 by 20 so the answer will be 1 by 5 okay so for this type of sum where you don't know the total ways first find out the total ways then attack to your condition and get your total number of favorable ways okay then divide it and get your answer now let us see this sum this is the last sum which will sum up all the question we have seen earlier okay so the sum is two cards are drawn from a pack of 52 cards what is the probability of given condition okay. so first sum is asked that what is the probability that both the cards will be ace so the question is that we are picking two cards and what is the probability that both the cards will be ace okay so you can directly solve this sum by using the combination that is you are picking two cards right and we know total number of ace are four so we can pick two cards from four cards basically we have picked two cards from four cards upon total number of cards so 52 c2 since we have picked two cards from total cards okay so the answer will be 4 into 3 upon 52 into 51 basically 4 ones are 13 fours are 3 ones are 17 so we will get 1 upon 2 to 1 here okay now let us see the second question second question is asking exact one card should be king okay so basically it is saying that probability of one card is being queen and the second card can be anything okay so for this also we are going to use the combination so we can write it as 4 c1 multiply by since we have total four queens multiply by the cards other than queen so we have 48 c1 since other than queen we have total 48 cards now as total we are picking two cards so we are going to write it as 52 c2 so we can write it as 4 into 48 upon 52 
into 51 upon 2 basically we can multiply it here okay 4 1s are 13 3 16s are and 3 17s are right so we will get 16 2 basically 32 upon 2 to 1 right now let us see third one for third one the question is no any card is honor card okay so basically the cards which we are picking that should not be any honor card okay we know total number of honor card is 16 right so other than honor card will be 52 minus 16 okay so if you subtract it we will get 36 right so the probability will be 36 c 2 since we are picking two cards upon 52 c 2 so we can write it as 36 into 35 upon 52 into 51 multiply it and get your answer now let us see fourth question fourth question is no any card should be digit card we know in 52 cards we have either a digit card or a honor card and that to be digit card is 9 4 is a 36 and honor card is 4 4 is a 16 okay so basically the question is no any card should be digit card so it should be honor card so the probability will be 16 c2 upon 52 c2 so you can write it as 16 into 15 upon 52 into 51 so multiply it and get your answer now let's see the fifth sum one card is king and the other is a queen so the question is probability of king and queen okay so we can solve it as 4 c1 since we have four kings multiply by 4 c1 since we have four queens upon 52 c2 since we are picking two cards from 52 cards right so if you simplify it we will get 4 4 is 16 upon 52 into 51 okay simplify it and get your answer so you can see card sums are not that much tough it is very easy only if you know the classification of cards and you know the basic uses of combination as well as permutation okay if you want me to provide a one shot video on permutation and combination so let me know in the comment okay so that's it for today thank you guys Bye.